Thanks for tuning in to Trigger Time TV. I'm your host, Mike Lamb. Today, we're going to start off talking to former national champion three gunner, Adam Popowell, talking about gear and equipment setting us up for getting into the three gun arena. Adam? Hi, I'm Max Michelle, national and world speed shooting champion. I have here with me today Adam Popwell. Adam, thanks again for being back with us as Thank a three you. gun national champion. We appreciate you sharing your time with us. Uh, what we want to know is uh, three gun gear selection. You know, we talked about what three gun is and kind of going through the motions and seeing some of the courses of fire, but there's so much gear out there, right? I mean, you got pistols, right. rifles, and shotguns, and all the gear that comes with each one of those platforms. And to be quite honest, that's why I don't shoot three gun is because it's people say, hey, you're a pro shooter. Why aren't you shooting three gun? Why aren't you shooting? Because there's so many disciplines and it's, it's pretty intimidating. So right. I've never had that opportunity to, you know, to speak with someone like yourself. So for the viewers at home and for myself, if you could share some of the gear you're using, but more importantly, why you're using that gear, because we don't want to spend a whole lot of money and a whole lot of time getting involved in it. We just want to know what the national champ is using so we can use what he's running and we can get started. Absolutely. What I have with us today is, is uh, my tactical optics gear, which I mentioned earlier is the largest division with the most competitors in it. Uh, for my pistol, what I shoot is an Infinity uh, 9mm sight tracker. 9mm is nice with a reduced recoil. Uh, what's really nice about it is the increased round capacity. Gotcha. The higher round counts are nice so you can avoid reloads in the stages. Right. So. Uh, you have to have ammo that's capable of, you know, you're shooting targets up to almost contact distance and you're going out to 50 yards very frequently. So you have to have have good accurate ammo and reliable ammo that runs through there. I, I, I shoot with Hornady for these, uh, for the 9mm, but it's an awesome gun. So now with that, you know, because what I do in the pistol world and what many viewers at home are doing in competitive pistols, we're shooting 40s and 45s and 38 supers, high velocity rounds. Right. But with this, there's no power factor, is there? So there's it's no just simply factor. making sure that you have a high enough velocity to take down the rounds and be accurate, which is what it sounds like what you're saying. Exactly. But you want it to be reduced power enough so you can shoot faster right. and, you know, while remaining accurate, but of course, get more rounds in the gun. So Absolutely. I see exactly why you're shooting 9mm. Okay. Absolutely. What else do you have? And with, with the rifle, I have a, this is a LaRue Tactical Predator. This is the one I use, uh, 16 inch with the... A lightweight barrel. I use this one for certain matches that are close range with the targets. If you're on a range where the, the targets aren't going to be beyond 100, 200 yards, I'll use this gun for that because it's uh, shorter, lighter, so you can transition it faster, move it around, manipulate it gotcha. a little faster. So if you know ahead of time targets are within 200 yards, you're going to be running a lighter gun so you can get it going quicker. Right, and with this one at those matches, I'll shoot uh, the Hornady 55 grain ammo. With okay. my other rifle with longer range stages, I'll shoot an 18-inch barrel, and I'll shoot the 75 grain. For a greater accuracy, that, right. right? So you're right. going out to four or 500 distance, yards. More power. Okay, understood. Right. It helps yep. with the wind, helps with less wind deflection with the heavier bullet. Okay. And yep. uh, for the scope, what I, sh I have here is a Leupold uh, CQBSS 1.1 to 8. Uh, outstanding scope. It's, it has a dot that is visible in daylight. So when it's, you can turn on low power, uh, turn the scope down you have a dot that you can shoot with for the up close and then gotcha. you can uh, transition up to eight power and it's got a h27 reticle in it so i have my holdovers for the longer distance shots with it okay neat so when you're up close you got just the dot and you're kind of superimposing the dot on the target much Absolutely. like an open pistol would do or exactly. or, or a non uh uh, you know a non magnification type of a setup and you're just kind of running through it And then when you need it you go ahead and throw it over and make sure you can get that long capacity Right, and I think the the variable power scopes are very important with on lower power uh, You have the larger field of view so you okay. can see multiple targets in your field of view at one time the same concept as with any Any open gun with a dot on it. Gotcha uh, with a shotgun what I've been using this year is a uh, Mossberg the, the JM 930 It's their version set up for three gun competition. It comes with an extended tube to hold uh, increased rounds with tactical optics, you're allowed to start with nine in the gun. That's on the start signal. Once you start, you can put whatever you want in the gun. So I have a tube here that'll hold 10 rounds and then put one in the chamber. Okay. You can get longer tubes, but again, you have to but take into consideration. But you can only start with a certain amount. Right. So you're, like you're saying, you got to take into consideration once the buzzer goes off, once the course of fire starts, you have to do some type of manipulation that's going to take time to increase that capacity. Right. Right. So you can't just start with a long some, one. Okay. Somewhere you have to do reloads because the rules state nine rounds in okay. it. Okay. Uh, like I said, this one's set up for competition. It has a... Uh, an oversized bolt handle. It's got an adjustable over travel screw for the trigger. Okay. Uh, really, really nice setup. This is what I've been using. Lots of uh, different models and brands out Great. there for each, you know, each platform. I guess the, the last thing I want to talk about here is kind of wrap this up with you. Is how do you set up your gear? Is it your when I say gear, your holsters, your pouches, um, you know, your belt system? Is it the same every single time, or is it always changing? With me, it's always changing. Some people do choose to set up every single time and they know where everything is. I, I go more modular. I walk up to the stage, look at the stage, see how I'm going to shoot it, and then base it on where I put my, my shotgun, my pistol, my rifle mags, my extra mags on me. So I, I totally change gotcha. it up based on how I'm going to do it. 
Gotcha. Well, you know, I guess there's two thoughts of that. You know, to be more consistent, you want them in the same spot each and every time. But somebody at your level, as they progress, as the viewers at home and as myself progresses in three gun, I can get more modular, like you're saying. I can see the value in that. Right. So, Adam, I appreciate you sharing your, your knowledge here. I know this has been years of training and years of going through, spending lots of money and time and energy. And the viewers at home and myself, we greatly appreciate it. So get out there and get shooting. Trigger Time TV is brought to you by Raven Concealment System, Troy Industry. Troy Defense, Seekins Precision, Aries Gear, Dark Angel, MGM, Taxi, Keltec, R Bros, Pro Ear, Yeti, Midland, Wiley X, EOTech, Black Hill, Bushnell, Trigicon, Dawson Precision, WW Guns, and Up Armored Knives.